Welcome to the Better Off Bonus Call of the Week. We're sponsored by Betterment, the largest independent online financial advisor. Now, if you'd like to get on the air with me, a certified financial planner with nothing to sell, except maybe a book, and we'll get to that later in the year. I just got me, my advice, my experience, and uh, friends of mine in the business, but I'm not doing this anymore for a living. I just talk to you for a living. If you'd like our input, and I say ours, mine, and Mark's, you've got two chances every week to get on the air. Today, on Tuesdays, we drop Better Off Bonus Call of the Week, and then after our longer show on Thursdays, we've got the listener question of the week. So today, we are speaking to Mariana, who is in the East Bay in California. Welcome to the show. What can I do for you? Hi, Gil. Thank you for taking my call. Of course. So my question is, I would like to buy a house here in the East Bay, but of course, the prices are skyrocketing. Yeah. And I have $25,000 set aside that I want to utilize for my for my goal. How far ahead do we think that this house purchase is going to take place? Are we talking about like in the next year, two years, five years? What are you thinking about? I'm aiming between two to three years, mm-hmm. but I would like it to be before five years. Okay, got it. And how much money have you already set aside? Is this all the money you have to do this purchase? Yes. So it's very complicated. Tell me about how much money you make. Are you married? Are you single? More about your real life. So I'm single, but I'm currently living with my partner, and he's the father of my child. I'm 30 years old. He's just the same age, Mm -hmm. and we both make about 100K a year. And he would be buying this with you, like you're both in this together? Yes. Okay. And so far, is this the first 25000 bucks that you've set aside to make this home purchase? Yes. And is this a joint account that you guys have, or is this yours and he's got something else? This is mine, and he has something else. Okay. He also have about the same amount, or does he have more? I think he has a little bit less. Oh, I don't like that. You're supposed to get someone richer than you are. Don't you know that by now? <laughs> Come on. I know. Uh, how, how did you do, how did you let your love your heart really get in the way of all of this? Okay, tell me about uh, your retirement plans. Do you ha- do you have a four hundred one k at work? I do, and I recently joined it. Um, I wasn't really thinking about that until my my coworkers started talking to me about it. So I decided to put to open it because given the opportunity for my employer, and I'm currently putting about. Twenty percent. Great. That's great. Fantastic. All right. And is he also doing retirement? He is. Yes. Okay. So here is the this is a very strange time horizon, because if you said, oh, my God, I'm going to do it in a year, then I would say mm-hmm. you got to keep it in cash. How much would you guess would be the the cost of a home that you would want to purchase? Well, I think prices and they range between half a million to six hundred to seven hundred. All right. So let's say six hundred. That's in the middle, right? So five to seven hundred. Mm-hmm. So we say six hundred. So ideally I presume that you guys would like to get at least ten percent down, right? Yes. Okay. So you're pretty close. I mean if you've got If you've got 25 and let's say he's got 15 or something and you got 40 already, that maybe your two year time horizon is right on track. So, look, if it's two years, then what I would say is this. I don't think you should invest it because I think it would be a terrible shame if the moment you invested that even a few like you say, oh, wow, let's say that you guys had 40 grand together and then all of a sudden it's 50 grand and then the stock market slides and you invest it. And all of a sudden, what do you have? You say, oh, my my 50 or 60. Guess what? It's back to 40 and a house comes up and then you can't buy it and then you're going to be mad. Although you have potential for greater growth by investing it, unless you really have five, 10 years, I don't think you want to take the risk of investing because you know you want to buy this house. Now, that doesn't mean you should let it sit in a, you know, earning a quarter of a percentage point. You should look around. You should see if you can get better interest at online banks. Um, You know, there's there's you can go to depositaccounts.com. You can find where there's better, higher earning um, accounts. 
But I think that if you really want to take a swing at a two to three year time horizon, I just I feel nervous that if, if the worst case scenario came to pass and you go from up to 60 and you've got your down payment and then all of a sudden the stock market slides and then you got to start build rebuilding, I think you're going to be really upset. So I think you're going to have to play it safe and forego the upside. How does that feel when I say foregoing the upside? Are you okay with that? I'm totally okay with it. All right, then be boring and get on the boring train. <laughs> be on the boring train for me. I will be your I will be your conductor on the boring train and let all the people people are going to say to you, no, 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 you should invest. But just remember, every investment decision has risk and reward. And if you're only investing for the reward and not looking at the risk, you can have a very nasty surprise. So I say keep doing what you're doing. Save that money. Go buy the house. Tell him to kick it into gear. You're not putting more down on the house than he is. So let's go. All right. I demand it for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Good luck. Take care. Thank you too, Gil. Bye-bye. Appreciate it. Okay, that's a wrap of our Better Off Bonus Question of the Week. If you've got a question, it's simple. Send us an email at askjill at betteroffpodcast.com. We'll arrange to get you on. And don't forget, in just a couple of days, there's a brand new episode of the Better Off Podcast sponsored by Betterman. Talk to you then. Betterman.